Hello, my name is John Pinto. I'm a mathematician and amateur astronomer, and I'm going to be presenting Dominic Prunet's course on celestial navigation. Back to episode four of Dominic Prunet's celestial navigation course. You can find more information about Dominic's course at www.navigationbooks.com, marinenavigationbooks.com. Uh, there you'll find uh, where to order his books. You'll find some resources you can download, including these slides. So today's episode, we're going to review the solar system. And hopefully all of this is going to be very familiar to you, but we have to make sure we cover every concept. So the original design for uh, celestial navigation is based on the Ptolemaic system. Uh, from 150 AD. It's a geocentric, means centered on the Earth system. And it, they believe the moon revolved around the Earth, which we still believe. But we all, they also believe that the planets revolved around the Earth, the sun revolved around the Earth, and the stars revolved around the Earth. Now, actually, this is the same system we use in celestial navigation today. Uh, because from our apparent viewpoint, they do revolve around the Earth. And it works very well. So this was the idea behind the uh, medieval uh, celestial sphere. Right? We all lived on the Earth, but if we were to pierce through the heavens, we would see the wheels turning of the uh, planets, the sun, the stars uh, going around the Earth. And then along came Copernicus in 1550, who realized that it would be so much simpler if we had the sun at the center of the solar system, with the planets uh, revolving around it, the moon revolving around the Earth. Uh, you can even see here in this particular map, it had the uh, four Galilean satellites revolving around Jupiter. That's over here. Let me see if I can turn my little pointer on. Over here is Jupiter. And these are each of the Galilean satellites revolving around Jupiter. So here we have Saturn and Mars. Here's the Earth, the Moon, and you have Venus and Mercury and then the Sun. And that is actually how our uh, calculations are done, um, behind the scenes, so to speak. Uh, but the way we apply them, we apply them just like they were applied uh, as if uh, Ptolemy's uh, concept of the the solar system and the stars was uh, was accurate, but it works fine for navigation purposes. And as we know, Galileo Galilei got into a bit of trouble uh, promoting the Copernican system. Um, most of what he got in trouble for was um, making fun of the Pope, um, but that's a story for another day. So thank you, Galileo Galilei, for sticking your neck out. And next episode, episode five, we will actually start getting into some celestial navigation concepts. Um, so these first uh, three episodes, pretty much four episodes are preliminary to uh, get into the meat of celestial navigation, which will start in the next episode, episode five. We'll see you then.